Hi everyone. Today I wanted to talk about uh, banned books. Uh, next week, uh, the week of September 24th, is actually Banned Book Week. So here are some uh, recommendations for banned or challenged books. So uh, with Banned Book Week, uh, these are books that have been challenged or banned. So they kind of couple them together. Um, challenged books are when a group of people go to like a library or a school district or uh, a bookstore or someplace like that and uh, challenge the book to get it out of the library, out of the bookstore, out of the reading list or whatever. A banned book is if that challenge was successful. So all these books have been challenged or banned at uh, some point. So here we go. So the first book is uh, George Orwell's Animal Farm. And this is a book that I've read a while ago, and uh, it's uh, just a very interesting story. It's a story of two pigs called uh, Napoleon and Snowball, and they live on a farm, and during that time, the old pig, Old Major, dies. But before he dies, he tells all the animals, he's like, wait a minute. The human who owns this farm, humans are the only people who don't contribute anything to this farm. You know, the ch chickens contribute eggs, you know, we contribute meat or whatever, the horses do work, but the humans are the only ones who don't contribute anything. And then uh, Old Major dies. And these kind of thoughts are in uh, Napoleon and Snowball's head, so they start a revolution. And they um, kick the farmer out, Farmer Jones out. And after they kick him out, things seem to be going good. They're like, yes, we are. We have got over the uh, the, the oppressor. And uh, they start talking about um, building a windmill. And Napoleon and Snowball's ideas about this windmill keep coming crashing. And uh, finally Napoleon, he's conniving, he's evil, and he gets Snowball taken out. And another pig comes to comes to power, his name is Squealer, and he's kind of like Napoleon's mouthpiece. And he's like, oh, um, Napoleon's the one who had all these good ideas about the windmill first. So just time goes on, things just keep not getting good at the farm, and uh, it turns out that the pigs start trading with the humans, and at the end it's kind of like the humans um, and pigs are almost indistinguishable. So you can kind of see that this is a very uh, interesting book. Um, the reason why it was banned was because of its um, kind of its links to Russia and communism and the story of all that. Um, Old Major um, was kind of like Marx and Lenin, kind of like the leaders, the ones who started all this this this, this thinking. Uh, Napoleon and Snowball were Stalin and Trotsky, uh, the the kind of leaders uh, during that time. And Squealer was actually the newspaper Pravda, uh, which kind of put out all these uh, different uh, thoughts on that. Um, the reason why you should read it is because not only is it a good story and just part of literature, but it makes you think not only of just of that time, but of government, society, um, and uh, that's actually one some of the reasons why it was banned. Uh, it was banned in Russia, and as far as I know, it still continues to be banned in uh, Cuba and China. So that's just kind of interesting. Uh, so George Orwell's Animal Farm. So it was a very good read. Uh, the next book is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Uh, this is a story about a girl named Scout, her brother Jeb, and their friend. And uh, they live in the South, and they uh, 
their father, his name is Atticus Finch, and he is a lawyer. And they are, they're, the kids are home with him, but they start, you know, hearing uh, just about uh, his cases and stuff. And he starts defending a, uh, who was accused of rape. And as the story goes on, you kind of find out that it was not him, but it was the girl who started telling lies about um, uh, the defendant. His name is Tom Robson. And because he kind of refused her, she started making up all this stuff. And um, Bob Ewell, who is the girl's father, is just really evil. He tries to just put him away. Uh, but uh, Atticus Finch is there to defend him. So this was a really good uh, story because it shows um, just the times that uh, that that time, the, the 50s, 60s, and the just the racism and the mentality that those people had. The reason why you should read it is because not only does it give a glimpse into that culture, but it also shows a uh, talks shows just a girl who kind of changes and kind of realizes that people are people and that each person is unique and that she should get to know them no matter what they look like. Um, or what society says about them. Um, not only is uh, there's Tom Robinson, but there's also uh, Boo Radley, who's an albino, so uh, that she gets to know. So she kind of gets to know these different types of people, and then just through that, uh, just kind of opens her mind and opens her world. It's uh, very well written. I read it a while ago, so I kind of had to refresh my memory on uh, the story. Uh, this book was banned because of, if I remember correctly, of language, um, inappropriate content, um, because it talked about rape. So, uh, those were the, uh, uh, the reasons for this book, But to Kill a Mockingbird. But it's a, just a very good story. Uh, the next story uh, is Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit. Four, five, one. This is a story. It's kind of a dystopian book where the society, uh, there's government censorship uh, through book burning. And this is the story of Montag. And Montag is actually a firefighter. And he doesn't put out fires because in this, uh, this world, um, everything's like fireproof. So they don't really need firefighter, firefighters. Uh, but whenever someone has books. People call, kind of like the police, and they come and burn the books. Uh, but, so, uh, Montag starts kind of realizing that there's just something missing, and then he meets this girl, and she says, well, do you ever read the books you burn? And that question keeps going in his mind, like, oh, do I? No, I don't. And then just through uh, time, he steals a book, he starts reading. Um, I remember part of the book he starts reading uh, a Charles Dickens book. And he kind of is hiding it from his wife. Now his wife, she is just kind of the typical person in this society. Uh, she is... All she cares about is just being entertained. She's talking about putting a third TV wall. Uh, there is uh, their whole, um, all their money is just going for this entertainment. And it's kind of like reality shows. And she's just so excited to be on these reality shows that you can participate in from your own living room. And he just kind of sees that and goes, there has to be more than this. Um, but then one day she finds out that he's been stealing books. And then she reports him. He runs away and he finds this society where they are memorizing the books. So that when time comes, that they can be able to uh, save, uh, be able to reprint the books after. 
um, I think, I remember watching the old, I think it was 1970s version of the movie, and I remember I really liked the last scene because it had all these people, like, reciting books, and one of the characters says, oh, okay, you know, there's the Bible part one, here's Pride and Prejudice, um, and I actually thought that was kind of cool, I'm like, what if everyone, like, had to, like, memorize a book? Um, so, there was that. The reason why, <laughs> the, it's kind of ironic, but the reason why this book was banned was because, or a lot of people had, like, challenged the book and it was banned, it was because it depicted, uh, them burning the Bible. Which is kind of interesting when the book is saying that burning books is not good. <laughs> uh, so, this, I think that it's a very good book to read. It's, uh, the reason why you should read it is because not only is this an entertaining read, but it makes you start thinking of, uh, books, censorship, uh, and, uh, just, uh, freedom of press and thought. So there's that. Uh, the last, uh, book recommendation is the Harry Potter series! <laughs> um, this sometimes doesn't seem like a book that would be banned, but it has been banned in some places, uh, taken out, challenged, um, and the reason why is because it glorifies witchcraft. So this is a story about, uh, Harry Potter, he's a wizard, and he goes to a wizarding school, and through seven books, he just develops friendships, and he fights the evil Lord Voldemort. Uh, so uh, most people know the, the synopsis of the books, uh, and the reason why you should read these is because they are, not only are they well written, and the world building in these books is really, really great, uh, but they're just entertaining and, uh, just, they're just really, really good. So, the Harry Potter series! That was a quick one because I have mentioned Harry Potter a lot on here. <laughs> so, here are four books for Band Book Week. If you haven't read them, definitely check these out. Um, they are very, very good. Um, I am also in, um, into children's literature, and as I was looking through banned books and challenge books, I noticed some very interesting uh, children's books that have been challenged or banned. So I wanted to show some of this to you. So the first one is Brown Bear, Brown Bear. <laughs> um, so this is a book that you probably see everywhere. It's about colors, purple cat. And the reason why it was banned, it's kind of silly, but Bill Martin Jr. is the name of a Marxist theorist. Not this, not the actual author, but just the name of a Marxist theorist. And some people who didn't really do their research made a big deal about the name. So it was taken out from some places because of that. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So there's that one. Another one is Charlotte's Web. Uh, this book was uh, banned because it had animals having human characteristics and there was a group of people who said that's an abomination. They can't, they can't do that. So this book has been challenged. Uh, another one was Little Red Riding Hood, but specifically this version of Little Red Riding Hood. And the reason why it was challenged was because, if you can see here, Little Red Riding Hood has a bottle of wine. And it shows Grandma drinking the bottle of wine. And she's a little rosy, a little happy. So there were some people who uh, were not quite happy with that. Um, another one was Where's Waldo? And I thought I had gotten the, the, the Where's Waldo that was banned, but I picked up the wrong one. Uh, but there is a beach scene in the 1987 version of Where's Waldo where it had a person who was topless. And you can kind of see part of uh, the, the character's chest. So it was banned because of that. 
So there are some interesting children's books that were banned. Uh, some other ones that were banned were Where the Wild Things Are, because it depicted a naughty child. Uh, Green Eggs and Ham, 1965, because it had the beginnings of communism, Marxism. Um, another one, Alice in Wonderland, because same thing, it had animals with human characteristics. And The Lord of the Rings, uh, because people were offended and it had evil in it. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this uh, this video. Uh, what are some of the banned books that you have read and uh, why did you think they were interesting? Uh, let me know in the comments below and like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.